Another human. What was enough? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Um, uh, not to, like, be on your case or anything, but other human? Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. I will. I will. Finally. S sorry to bother you. I didn't know Dr. Henry was a human. That is all. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about her grandkids with that. Yes, sir. Huh. Interesting form of exercise. Well, I can imagine if you are a creature who's used to becoming invisible, all that and unseen, being invisible all the time must be. Well, I can't imagine it being. It must drive them nuts to some extent. Kind of like coming off an addiction, probably. I don't know, I've never been invisible and never been addicted to invisibility. So, I'm not qualified to say. Hmm. Nobody home. Well, I'll say this place could use some more furniture, but besides that, it's actually quite a nice place. Some repairs would also be in order. But compared to many other places I've seen, this is actually a pretty nice place. Lights working and stuff. Oh. Well, you must be Dr. Henry. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Wow. Something's wrong with my cyber dog. Didn't imagine I would ever have to say that. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nike. Hmm. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. If we must. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. 
Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Oh, yeah, the Major talked about that. If we must. Yes, yes. Mm. Hello. Oh, hi. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. Once in a while, I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Well, I'll just, uh, buy and sell stuff then. All right. Well, sold some weapons I didn't need and bought some uh, stim packs and also sold all my magazines to give bonuses to speech and uh, science since I really don't need those. Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. What's with your name? Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. Never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Hmm. Well, I suppose if you're pretty long lived, you would be nice to change up once in a while. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Oh, wait, I already asked that. Sorry. Goodbye. Why? Nice talking with you. Anyway, um, so, yeah, that's a bit far away, so, I think I'll help these people out while I'm here. Might as well, no. I don't think I need to take Lily with me. I think we can handle this on our own. Hmm. It's actually pretty big, this place. Okay, let me guess. There's no easy way out. I have to go out through the front entrance and then around, right? Right. Oh, hi, Rex. Saw a rat or something? Or a hat? Whoa! Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Okay, um, Marcus, can we establish a rule? You're very big compared to me, okay? Don't run up to me like that when like call uh, from a distance or something before you do it because I might just start shooting out of sheer fright okay <laughs> seriously don't do that killing our big corners shooting at the lodge that sort of thing it's getting hard to keep people from retaliating guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR whoever they are they want us dead or gone you're human they might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I can be. I'm very persuasive. Well, let's deal with that first, since that sounds pretty urgent. down here. Uh, just in case, can I... You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. 
We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Why not do something about it then? It... I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Hmm. Um, by the way... Step into my office. Yeah. Just need some things recycled. Let's go talk to these people. Our business is with the muties, not you. Yeah. I wonder, could I speak with him first? Like, find out. Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. Okay. My friend, listen to me. Go away. I killed Deathclaws, Legionnaires, I made the Boomers my allies, I made the three great families bow before me. You don't stand a chance, so run along. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. You bet. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. I bet or not. Now scram! Well, I find it quite funny that I, a scrawny nerd that goes around with an aquarium on his head, is somehow more threatening than an entire town of big hulking ogres. Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Hmm. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. A miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. If that happens, there's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Hmm, suppose you got a point. Alright. See you.
Well, I'll see if I can help you with that whole invisibility thing. Uh, I'm going up in the caves anyway, so. Need to tighten up my budget. snow areas This is a very, I must say, again, this is a very nice place, and a nice change from all the flat desert and ruins I've been walking around in for most of the game. Well, I was also up here earlier, but still, it's nice. Am I on the right track? Oh yeah, we are. We're getting closer. In fact, I think this might be... Is this the entrance? Oh yeah, this is the entrance. Alright people, keep your wits about you, this could get dangerous. 